What's up, guys? Hey, guys. We're back, and here it is, the Xbox One Elite, Elite. Controller. And it yes. is sexy. I'm in love with it. It is amazing. It's it so is... smooth. The joysticks are smooth. Eesh. It feels good. The Everything, like the joysticks pop off real nice and easy and mm. then go on. And they don't come off either. Yeah, they feel, no. You would think it would come off, but they don't come off. So they feel great. Yeah. Uh, I will say the D-pad feels a little wobbly. A little, yeah. There's a little wobble. It's a little, a little wobble. wobbly. Especially even with the four directional D-pad, it's yeah. a little wobbly. Yeah. The, it's even worse. Yeah, the four directional one is probably worse. It's more wobbly, if yeah. anything. But it doesn't come off. It just feels weird. So, and then, of course, you got the four rear paddles. Mm-hmm. And the diamond grip, if you're familiar with the Forza controller or the lunar gold, or the lunar white controller, sorry. Uh, they had the same diamond grip on them. I love that grip. It is, it's amazing. amazing. I wish every controller had that. Agreed. And then, of course, the trigger locks were, uh, which are at 50%. 50. Pull. Um, yeah, I do wish, uh, there was a little bit of a shorter pull on them. I, I wish, wish they were, like, 75%. Same thing. Instead of 50. Same thing. Um, it's, yeah. It, it feels good, feel though. As, it feels yeah. good. I just wish it was a 75% pull. Yeah. Same thing. Same exact thing. Uh, all right, so it comes with this fancy little case. It does, yes. We do have a fancy case with it. And inside, it has a little, uh, a little net up top to hold your, yeah. the braided recharge cable. And then uh, the braided recharge cable braided is really cable. nice if you have a braided mouse, you know. And, and then, then it has... all the buttons and interchangeable stuff down here. And this here. is a really nice rubber, like rubber slots yeah, to it's everything. Yeah, it super feels smooth, really good. super nice. And everything just kind of pops out easy and pops in easy. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to show you guys the programming, how to program it, and what's up with the uh, how easy it is. So here you go. Here's the programming. I have chosen to whoops change my controller name to Steamboat Willie. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so you go to configure, and then you just go ahead and go to we'll make a new configuration. We'll call it poop. Pick the new configuration and then go to the button mapping. It's real easy. Controller button. You pick which controller button you want. Probably one of your rear paddles, I'm guessing. So we're going to go ahead and go with... Uh, it's down here. It literally walks you through every it single It really does. Step. The upper like, left. And we'll map it to the uh, A button for jump. Because that's jump in most games. So now your upper left paddle is already programmed. You don't have to hit done or anything. You just continue on. It just shows everything you're doing in this picture right here. You know exactly what's happening. You don't have to press done. You have to go back. You just do everything. Like I can take the, uh, let's take the right bumper and map it to A. Boom. Shows you that now the right bumper is A. So that's all pretty cool. It's super simple. Yeah. It's super simple. As soon as you're done, you just go ahead and pop. A, go down to the sticks and vibration, left stick. This lets you uh, change your, basically the pull, how fast it pulls. If it's going to pull instantly when you do it, or if it's going to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a warning, basically. I prefer so you gotta, aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, uh, well, I've been doing instant on my left and aggressive on my right. I've been liking that. Uh, instant on the right is just too, too fast, too instant. Yeah. <laughs> your brain doesn't have time to fix it if you screw <laughs> it up. Smooth is nice, too. That one's nice if you're just a Whatever, casual. casual. That's what I would go with. Same thing on the right stick over here. And then when you pick one, let's go ahead and pick aggressive. You go. You can see you picked aggressive on the left stick. And then the, uh, the triggers, you can pick the dead pull. Which, I don't know why you would do this other than maybe to have a, little, a couple clicks. Maybe yeah. five clicks so that your, uh, your sticks or your... Not, they're at uh, I, zero instead of sitting at like one. But they're triggers. Yeah. They do sit at zero. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. Yeah. So you can choose the vibrate. You can hear how this thing vibrates very... So... I love this part too. Yeah, the left trigger, changing, yeah. the main, which is... So your trigger, your main is in your handle. If you weren't aware, you have two uh, motors in the one controller. You get to choose how hard or soft. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> so, and then you got the button brightness, which is, I like, I just turned it all the way down for battery life, basically. So, you get to choose that, turn all the way up, all the way down, whichever you like. I like a little glow in there, you know? Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> you can swap your sticks, which is weird, your left and right sticks. 
you can invert your right ax your axes your left and right which i love because i play inverted and none of my friends do so we always no, have to go in the options and switch it <laughs> and now it, no more problem because you have two profiles up here one for you one for your friend just bam click of a button you're on a different profile yeah so same thing with the triggers you can swap the triggers same thing so you just go down i don't really want to so we have two slots, Halo, which is mine, and Cake and Bake, which is, which you is guessed mine. it. <laughs> and uh, so whenever we play, we could just real quick switch it over. So that is it, guys. Like, this is how simple this thing it is. And 150 bucks, it's the price point is... Amazing. It, yeah, great price For point. For any kind of customizable. It feels format. great. It has fully customizable everything. Yeah. You can't, a scuff can't beat it in price. I mean, it's it's a great controller. It really is. Uh, all right, guys. We hope you enjoyed our little look at the Xbox One Elite controller. Please hit that sub button, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.